The Texas power grid is back in the spotlight, and many of you have asked this question. Could Governor Abbott make the decision on his own to join the national grid? With Verify, we tell you our sources first. We talk to Ed Hers, an energy economics professor at the University of Houston, Michael Weber, a professor of mechanical engineering at UT Austin, Jim Rossi, professor of law at Vanderbilt and researcher of energy law, and Becky Klein, the former chairman of the Public Utility Commission. The Electric Reliability Council of Texas, or ERCOT, currently operates Texas Electrical Grid. In order to join the national electrical grid, a private company has to design the plan. This is an engineering problem. We're gonna have to string wires and, and match up equipment. Now, even if he did receive a feasible plan, Governor Abbott couldn't go to any federal agencies just yet. They would need approvals from the Public Utilities Commission of Texas, as well as ERCOT. Next, Texas leaders would go to the Federal Energy Regulatory Commission, or FERC, to ask for approval to join the national grid. They would need to be accepted by market participants from other states, and FERC, the Federal Energy Regulatory Commission, would begin to regulate transactions. Then the work would shift to Texas lawmakers. A lot of our current statutes that um, set the laws for our electric power market would have to be changed. So we can verify. No, Governor Abbott could not make the decision on his own to join the national grid. It would require help from the private sector and approval from federal agencies. If you have a question you want us to verify, send us an email to verify at WFAA.com.